this episode of Science Di Mana Mana, we will learn about menstrual cycle in human. This is female human's reproductive organ. The name of the parts in a female human reproductive organs includes ovary, fallopian tube, uterus, cervix, and vagina. Now let's talk about functions. The function of ovary is to produce ovum and secrete female sex hormone. The function of fallopian tube is a place where fertilization between sperm and ovum occurs. The function of uterus is to provide a place for the fertilized ovum to attach and soon become a developing and growing embryo. The function of cervix is to produce mucus to enable sperms to swim into the uterus. The function of vagina is to receive sperms and acts as a channel through which a baby is born. When a female human approaching a matured age, she will experience some physical changes such as breast enlargement, hips become firm and broader, and hair grows on the armpit and pubic region. Other than that, the uterus lining starts to thicken, ovaries produce ova and sex hormone, and they will start to have their menstrual cycle. When the uterus lining becomes too heavy, it will start to break and fall off the uterus and come out through cervix and vagina. This is called menstruation phase. The start of this phase marks the first day of the menstrual cycle. On average, women will have their menstruation for a range of 5 to 6 days. Menstruation stops, the next day onwards is called repair phase. During this phase, uterine lining starts to rebuild and thicken. Blood vessel in the uterine lining are formed and ready to receive the implantation of fertilized ovum. This phase takes time around day 6 to day 11. Day 12 to 17th is called fertile phase. During this phase, the uterine lining continues to thicken and fertilization is likely to occur if sperms are present. On day 14th, an ovum is released from one side of the ovaries. And then it will gradually move towards the fallopian tube. Day 18th to 28th is called premenstrual phase. The uterine lining continuously thickens until it becomes richly supplied with blood vessels. During this time, implantation of an embryo could happen if fertilization occurred. However, if fertilization doesn't occur, the menstrual cycle will repeat and the unfertilized ovum will flow out of uterus together with the menstruation discharges. is encouraged to bathe frequently to clean her body. During menstruation, a woman must change her sanitary pad three to four times a day 
to prevent infection of bacteria and viruses that might cause urinary tract infection or UTI. That's all for this episode. I hope to see you again next time. If you like this video, please click like and share and please subscribe. Thank you very much.